DC has a serious problem with crime. We've told you district leaders say they're trying to find solutions. This is how bad it is right now. MPD data says violent crime is up 11% compared to this time last year. So many lives altered by this violence. Now the mayor says she has an idea to fix it. The solution involves keeping repeat offenders off the streets. Our John Henry joins us now to break down the mayor's plan from outside of MPD headquarters. The mayor's office told us we should expect it to introduce legislation either tomorrow or Monday to reform the pretrial detention process here in D.C. A number of people told us at the Crime Summit yesterday they believe that needs to be fixed in order to fight crime here in D.C. Right now in D.C., if you're arrested for allegedly committing a crime, there's a good chance you'll be released pretrial. The Pretrial Services Agency for D.C. said in fiscal year 2022, 85% of cases resulted in defendants being released pretrial. If judges are mandated, they are required to release people back into the community, which happens right now because of a law enacted in the District of Columbia back in 1992. But D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser said Wednesday her office will soon introduce legislation aimed at stopping reoffenders, people convicted of violent crimes in the past, of getting pretrial release after committing new alleged crimes in the future. We think the expectations in the community is that if you've committed a violent crime, you're, you're convicted of a violent crime and you commit, convict, commit another one, that you should be detained. U.S. Attorney for D.C. Matt Graves said he welcomes having a conversation about how to reform pretrial detention practices as it's not been a focus in recent years. Candidly, that has not been where the dialogue has been over the last decade or so. The dialogue has been over how can we have more people released because they have not yet been convicted. Now, some people are concerned about this idea, including Black Lives Matter, DC, which says the presumption of innocence is supposed to exist and include people who have been arrested or convicted in the past. John Henry, WUSA 9.